So good morning to everyone. Uh, today we are going to hear from uh, uh, Mr. P. Arjun Raj. He is a, a well-known industrialist who is having wide experience in the industries, and he he was working as a manager in uh, powertrain research and development and ABTEC Powertrain Private Limited, and uh, he published five research papers in international journals, presented seven research papers in international conferences. He is a recipient of Sundaram Kannapan Medal Award and he worked in uh, Thakata India Private Limited, Bemal Limited, Mahendra and Mahendra Limited. So he is a resource person for various topics in industrial engineering and other uh, management topics. So today he is going to share his experience with respect to facilities planning, facilities and process planning, especially in the manufacturing sector. Now I am inviting for, uh, Mr. Arjun Raj to take over the session. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, John, sir, accept panikenge. Then I will come to accept panikenge. Okay. Students request kurtir kanga. Okay, okay. You can minimize it, you can request it, refresh it, and accept it, sir. Hmm? Uh, now, uh, Mr. P. Arjun Raj will take over the session. Uh, good morning to all. Uh, thanks, sir, for an opportunity. Uh, today, I will be uh, covering the topic called Facilities and Process Planning in uh, Manufacturing Firms. So how the facilities and the process planning are done in manufacturing companies. That is all about my topic today. Uh, you can also note on my email ID is p.arjunraj at the gmail.com and my mobile number is 8778983428. So I can be even contacted at uh, email or phone uh, if in case any clarification with respect to the topic. So today my presentation content uh, involves uh, these topics. First, I will give an overview of uh, facilities and the process planning. Then uh, the different layouts uh, and equipments uh, which have been used in a manufacturing firms. And you know, uh, either to store the material, raw material which is coming to the company and uh, the finished good which is going out of the company needs to be stored in some place. Uh, the raw material which is coming to the uh, company before it is coming to the assembly it needs to be stored in a place called warehouse or a store uh, and again the finished good which is uh, which needs to be stored in a place called warehouse before it is going to the uh, shipment to the customer so warehouse is very much important in a manufacturing firm uh, for which you need to do the facilities planning and uh, the next important thing is uh, the production and testing how it has been carried out in a manufacturing firms and some of the case studies I will show with respect to uh, two companies, uh, AquaGuard and uh, uh, Titan Industries. I will give I will give an overview how they have done the process improvement in a manufacturing company uh, using the using the process planning. And uh, it is quite imp in in interesting, uh, the very interesting sector, agriculture sector facilities and process planning. How it has been done in an agriculture sector, agriculture land. It's basically I have taken a case study with 100 acres of agriculture land. How how the facilities and process planning is done to that particular agriculture land of 100 acres. And I will show you some of the videos related to the facilities and process planning. Uh, the videos may not be audible, so I will give the running commentary and I will explain while the video is running. Uh, so this is all about my content today. So the first one is an overview of facilities and process planning. So the first important thing is uh, you need to know the, the you need to know the criteria for selecting the facilities and process planning in any company. Ah, sir, I have a message on WhatsApp. I have accepted. I have accepted. I have accepted. 
அக்செப்ட் பண்ணி கொடுத்துருங்க அப்புறம் ஸ்க்ரீன்ஷாட்டு சும்மா ஒரு ரெண்டு எடுத்து தனியாக சும்மா வேர்டில் எதனா ஒன்று போட்டு வச்சுக்கோங்க ப்ரிண்ட் ஸ்க்ரீன் கொடுத்து அவர் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் கொடுக்குற ஸ்லைடே நம்ம ஃபோட்டோஸ் இருக்கிற மாதிரி அப்படி ஒரு ரெண்டு ஸ்லைடு சும்மா ப்ரிண்ட் ஸ்க்ரீன் கொடுத்து எதனா ஒரு வேர்ட் ஃபைலில் போட்டு வச்சுக்கோங்க ம் அட்டண்டன்ஸும் அட்டண்டன்ஸும் டவுன்லோட் பண்ணி வச்சுக்கணும் ப்ரூஃப்க்கு ஒரு ரெண்டு மூணு வாட்டி ஸ்ட்ரென்த் நிறைய வந்த பிறகு டவுன்லோட் பண்ணிங்க அட்டண்டன்ஸ் ம் ஓகே சார் ஓகே சார் ஓகே சார் ஆ தேங்க்யூ so now the first topic is uh, overview of facilities and process planning in which uh, the first we need to see the criteria for selecting the facilities and process planning what are all the criteria uh, so the criteria will also vary with respect to the companies and also with respect to the product uh, so the criteria of a, of a manufacturing a car will be different from manufacturing of a aircraft and then uh, it will be manufacturing of the phone or a laptop or a television so the, the criteria will vary with respect to the facilities and the process with respect to the companies and again different companies will have different strategies and again you also need to understand the supply and demand uh, so what what is the requirement with respect to the, the customer point of view so according to the demand you need to look for a company strategies and then according to that you need to select what the product you, you are going to uh, manufacture and what you are going to sell it to the customer so the first criteria is that uh, you need to understand the strategies with respect to the demand and supply and then accordingly you need to uh, select the product and then the type of business model uh, like each and every business is having different model uh, it can be uh, the manufacturing uh, business or the service business uh, or a logistics business supply chain business so different business will have different uh, model and accordingly you need to select the facilities and process planning so now we are going to see today mostly of manufacturing so so here it is a manufacturing business model and the plant site location so at which location we need to uh, we need to choose the plant say for example uh, uh, it, it's it, whether the the plant should be near to the the commercial area or it should be near to the the, the industrial area or it should be near to the the airport so and again where the, the water uh, availability is more and again uh, the the labor will be more and again the material supply to the particular plant will be much better so you need to select the plant in, in a much more better manner and again the cost of the land should also be better and again whether it is possible for a lease or uh, whether it is possible to purchase with affordable cost so again the, the plant site location is very much important and again from that particular plant whatever the product you are manufacturing from the company whether it is possible for you to uh, sell it or ship it to the, the customer in a very easy manner so you need to select the plant site location at at at, at a very important uh, Uh, place otherwise uh, it becomes very difficult for you to uh, even get the raw material and also ship the product whatever you are manufacture and again you also need to see the labor availability and again the water availability and again uh, all the all the facilities you need to look uh, while you are considering the the plant site location before you go for a construction then you need to understand then you need to study Uh, after selecting the location you need to understand what is the space required for constructing the, the manufacturing plant uh, and again the space in the sense uh, with respect to the supply and demand or with respect to the product how many quantities you are going to manufacture per day or per month so accordingly you need to have the space and uh, because and again you need to understand uh, understand the process uh, in which different machines are there you need to understand what are the resources required for the plant resource can be main material machines or methods uh, all these four m's you need to use uh, and uh, to analyze the space you need to understand how many machines are required what is the size of the machine what will be the space required accordingly you need to give the plan to construct the plant and again uh, here the resource it will vary uh, the space of the company will vary with respect to the the, the product and also it also vary with respect to the size of the product and volume of the product sometimes the size of the product will be much more bigger like a aircraft uh, uh, kind of thing and uh, and again uh, sometimes the the product uh, can be of small size like a phone iphone kind of thing um, so but the volume will be more for iphone uh, uh, so considering that you need to under, you need to create 
the, the plan uh, with respect to the, the space availability or space requirement for constructing the plant. Then, as I said, the warehouse is very much important uh, for the raw material uh, plant. It means you need to see what is the space required for a warehouse for the raw material coming into the plant and uh, going out as a finished goods. And uh, this is quite interesting. Uh, you need to uh, here in many of the many manufacturing companies, we are using the robots, we are using the automation, and again some of, most of the material handling equipments. Uh, while you are going for the facilities and process planning, basically the process planning, you need to plan uh, the usage of robots so that it will reduce the cycle time. When it reduces the cycle time, the productivity gets improved, and some of the automation also will increase the productivity. And you need to under, when you're going for a process plan, you need to see whether you're going for a manual manual process or a automated process or a, or a, or a robotic process. So you need to understand the process and accordingly you need to plan. Sometimes uh, manually, uh, in, at the initial stage, you might go with the manual. Then uh, when you're going for a modified uh, uh, process, then you may go with either automation or robots. So you can also change your process by thereby you can reduce the cycle time and you can improve the productivity and uh, this is very much important you have different material handling equipments because uh, whenever the raw material is coming to the warehouse you need to uh, take the raw material uh, to the warehouse uh, using the, the handling equipments you have different materials uh, different handling equipments uh, depending upon the size of the uh, the material and weight of the material the different equipments have been used you have lifts cranes uh, excavator means uh, uh, you have uh, the the basically hydraulic lift kind of thing and then uh, and you also have uh, even the robots are also used for uh, the material pickup and uh, and also to to place in the, the place where the, where you can transport it and you can put it in a rack uh, in a warehouse and similarly, the finished good, uh, whatever it is there coming to the plant, uh, from the plant to the warehouse, it needs to be taken to the uh, uh, the vehicle for which you are using the material handling equipments. Okay, so let us see where these facilities and process planning are being used. Uh, this is wide across all, all, all sectors. There is there is no sector left behind where this is not used. Uh, today we will be seeing only on manufacturing, but these facilities and process planning is used in healthcare uh, uh, industries. It can also be used in supply chain. It can also be used in. And again, uh, uh, we also used in education and research. Even if you are if you want to build a college or university or a research institute, you need to use the facilities and process planning because you need to understand what are the facilities and what are the equipments required for a lab. Okay, different research institutes will have different lab facilities. Uh, the electronic uh, research lab will have many different uh, the facilities uh, as compared to the top of mechanical research lab. Uh, so different research lab or different research institution will have different uh, planning or process for the particular uh, research. And uh, even this can also be applied in even in management and sales and marketing. Uh, military, uh, homeland, security, energy sector, and public service. This is this applied all across, and even even this facilities and process planning is also applied in uh, finance, banking, IT, IT companies. I will show you in the video how the software companies are going to build a, a, a building uh, where the software people are involved for work, uh, and there also they are going to involve the process planning. Uh, in, the, in the IT companies, and uh, you also this also be applied in a defense and aerospace. So this is applied all across 360 degree across all all sectors. There is no sector left behind uh, where this is not used. So in an, uh, you have two type of environment in any manufacturing company. One is internal environment, another one is external environment. So first we will see the internal environment. So internal environment is with respect to the uh, three important parameters. One first parameter is input, second parameter is process, and the third parameter is output. So as I was telling, the raw material is very much important for, as, as an input, and the output is a finished product. In between that, you have a process, uh, and the input is the form of uh, uh, the main material and the resource. Uh, here, you need to have the facility, uh, basically the building or uh, the place where you need to manufacture it. 
then you need to have the machine's tools. Then the important thing is you need to have the raw material and you need to have the manpower uh, for which uh, you need to uh, process it and you need to have the information. What what are what information is what the, what the product you are going to manufacture. So this information is very much important uh, during the initial stage of input parameter. Then you go to the process where you you carry out the, the manufacturing activities. You're considering the technical activities, technical aspects, even the communication what has been given in the information and the data management and again it, the processes should be a cognitive cognitive. And again, uh, here you use all the manufacturing uh, equipments. Uh, it can be a lathe or drilling machine or a milling machine or CNCs or grinding, all, all kind of uh, stamping, uh, press, press machines. So all the machines you will be using to do the process and you get the output. The output is in the form of a product. Uh, it even can be in the form of service, but uh, here we are, as I was telling you, with respect to the manufacturing here, only products comes as a picture and outcome what is the outcome you are going to get what is output whether it is fulfilling fulfilling the need of the customer or not uh, whether it is giving the, uh, the comfort to the customer and again the very important thing is the dignity of the company and the brand brand is very much important uh, because the output is not only the product the company out, co company uh, brand is also coming as a dignity it is also an output uh, so these are all the internal environment and with respect to the external thing uh, external environment what what is important is uh, the, the, the environment the physical environment uh, is very much important and the, the norms and obligations with respect to the society uh, like uh, uh, you need to ensure that you are meeting the societal norms with respect to the environmental pollution kind of thing or the safety point of view with respect to the product what you are manufactured and again it should be the chemical free and again the hazard does not be there so all this you need to ensure that uh, when you are considering the external environment and again the, the, the legal constraints uh, so it should be legally free uh, whatever the product you are going to manufacture okay so this is very much important uh, the, as i was telling uh, in a manufacturing frame uh, in, when, before you go for the facility you need to understand the, the, the product and again the volume also you have different type of layout in any companies. Uh, you have product layout, fixed position layout, mixed layout, and process layout. So when the quantity is more, you can you can go for a product layout, and uh, if or you can, you can go for a mixed layout also. And you have the fixed position layout, and you have also when the quantity is less, you have you can go for a process layout. So I will go from process layout to the product layout. So process layout is basically the quantity is less. Uh, process layout can be a manufacturing of any machines. Okay, so the, the for those process layout the, the quantity will be less. Okay, because uh, the number of machines uh, will be lesser in any companies, uh, and again that machines will be used for doing the process. So so any you can say for that matter any the quantity will be less uh, when, whenever you are going for a process layout. It can be the main manufacturing machines or even uh, the, you can take the aircraft uh, application also where we are going for a process layout um, where the quantity is lesser because uh, in a year you manufacture almost 500 close to 500 uh, kind of uh, vehicle uh, with respect to the aircraft whereas if you, when you take uh, the iPhone or, or any any laptop uh, the quantity is more. Even you can take the car also uh, per month uh, on an average any OEM will manufacture 10,000 per month where that where the product where they, where it comes under either a, a mixed layout or a product layout where the quantity as the as the quantity is getting increased the layout can also get changed. Um, then you go for a, the product layout where the quantity is more as I said when you are taking the huge quantity uh, in a manufacturing process then you can use this layout. In the case of ship building uh, kind of thing where you have the fixed position layout, uh, you can use the, even the quantity is also less, you can use this fixed position layout there. So, so while we're going for the facility management, you need to understand what is the product. Before, before, you, before you understand the product, you need to select the business case. Then you have to understand the supply and demand. Then you select the product, okay? If there is no demand or, uh, to the particular product, then, uh, then again, uh, the, you no need to go with the manufacturing itself. Okay, so first the thing is 
as i was telling you the first the strategy is very much important then then you select the business model then you go for a uh, the, the the facilities planning and uh, and again the facilities planning is based on this four layout, layouts basically uh, okay so as i was telling uh, you need to select with respect to the volume and also the product so you have a different process so we, here we are going to see the process basically uh, the process is project process batch process line process and continuous process so when i say it's a project pro process uh, batch process uh, it comes under the intermittent operations and the line process and continuous process is coming under repetitive operations uh, so when the volume is going to be higher you can use the repetitive operations uh, where it, it the process will be continuous and also it will be the, the assembly one so for example in the case of uh, manufacturing a car you go with uh, the assembly assembly or manufacturing of uh, engines or a transmission so you need to go for assembly lines uh, where the process is line and again in the case of uh, sugar industry or in oil industry uh, or in a water treatment plant where the requirement will be higher the quantity will be higher so the process is continuous and again it is again the repetitive one in the case of uh, the, the, the project process or in the batch process so depending upon the customer requirement you go with the operations so again the quantity is lesser and again sometimes even it can be in the batch also say for example in you know going for a uh, the, uh, the printing shop or in the case of bakery or in even with respect to the education sector so the process is batch actually so the volume is also going to be lesser so for example if you are uh, with respect to the uh, the the binding of your books or with respect to the the book uh, book publication itself you can take for that matter it is coming under batch kind of thing even some of the mechanical processes can also be in batch uh, you know you know now it's completely because of the corona all the all the sub, all the supply and demand is comes under a very low category so so now what happens even the continuous process is going towards a private process and even the line process is also going towards a batch process because the volume is going to be lower okay even even you see uh, the car but now it is going it is picking up uh, but uh, the past six months it was really um, very uh, big uh, problem for uh, any any companies uh, so where they reduced uh, the, the the quantity of manufacturing the product uh, from uh, even continuous to batch uh, and sometimes now even it comes under as a project process also because uh, if there is no project or if there is no requirement uh, say for example uh, the companies like Mahendra, Tata which is coming under OEM category uh, they will not manufacture uh, the product or a car if there is no uh, requirement from the customer or if the customer is not willing to buy it uh, so if the customer is not willing to buy it they will be uh, reducing the quantity from line to batch or line to a project and again uh, if uh, tata and mahindra company which is coming under oem which is not manufacturing the cars then the other companies which is depending on that the tire one companies the piston manufacturer the cylinder block cylinder head or the gear manufacturer uh, the shaft manufacturer, even uh, the brake manufacturer, all those manufacturers, uh, they cannot be able to sell the product to the to, to the OEM. So even they also comes, they also they also change their process from line to process, batch or project. So the volume and the, the, the product is very much important when you're going for a design of a process in a manufacturing company. So again, this is uh, very much important a strategy strategy is very much important so you have three type of strategies uh, so first strategy is make to stock so again this is uh, here the delivery time is delivery time is going to be lesser so when i say make to stock it involves processing assembly then it goes to the product inventory then it goes to the shipping uh, whereas when you go to the assemble to order uh, you, the first the first category is going to be processing then then you go go to the, the product inventory comes here as a second one then you go to the assembly and shipping where the delivery time is going to be higher and then make to order is the the, the third category 
uh, depending upon uh, the, the order coming from the customer, uh, here the, the product inventory is the first one, then you go to the processing, then you go to the assembly, then you go to the shipping, where the delivery time is going to be higher. Uh, so it's basically the manufacturing companies is going to make as per the order from the customer and uh, even the manufacturing can, can be done uh, based on the order only the assembly is going to happen here uh, assembly and shipping uh, whereas in the case of make to order so you're going to concentrate mostly on the processing also and uh, and again in the case of uh, the make, make to stock so here it is uh, it is already available and you're only going to ship it say for example uh, the dealers kind of thing like even the logistics or even the warehouse also you can take it uh, for that matter so here in the warehouse you you will have the finished product uh, or you have the raw material so here uh, the thing is that uh, you need to uh, ship it or the, you, the requirement is only the shipping where the delivery time is going to be very lesser Whereas uh, the other two cases, the delivery time is going to be higher. Okay, so when you're going for a process design in manufacturing firm, uh, you have a lot of uh, process and different stages. In a case of multi-stage process, you have different stages, uh, uh, stage one, stage two, you have different stages uh, where in, in, a, in first stage you do one, man, one process or one manufacturing operation and seven stage you do different uh, manufacturing operations. And, uh, and, and, and the things go on, so on like this. And you have a multi-stage process with buffer where uh, where there will be some work in progress. Uh, pro work in progress you call WAP. Here it is work in process inventory. Uh, you have some buffer here. And again, even the stages can be parallel with different product. Say for example, the stage one will have one finish to good and the stage two will have different finish to good. And uh, even the stage one will have the the, the machines which used in the stage one or the machines used in stage two can be different, can be same also. Same machines can also used for manufacturing uh, different uh, finished products, different product also. So this comes under pa parallel stages, uh, producing different product. Uh, and again, even the parallel stages is also producing the same product, same machines, same product, so that the productivity can get improved. So you see here, uh, when you're going for this type, See, when you're going for a multi-stage process, uh, you see the line or the facilities, when you're planning for the facilities, uh, you need to select like this. And when you're going for this type, the space gets increased, okay? See, you see, again, you're going to install one more machine here, uh, parallel to the stage one. Uh, and again, uh, so you need to see uh, with the length and breadth of uh, your, uh, the, the space requirement also. Uh, he, like here the length is going to get increased, here the breadth is going to get increased and uh, that is very much important. It is like the civil engineers how they plan while they are building the, how they are constructing the house or a big apartment or a big uh, conference hall. Uh, uh, so like this you need to plan for the thing, what is the space required for uh, organization. And uh, to understand the space, you need to understand what, what is the machine being used for a particular thing. And again, the machine indicates uh, the, the dimensions also. What is the dimension of the machine? You also have the software. I will explain that uh, how how the particular uh, facilities planning is done in any organization. Okay, so let me come back to the, the different layers and equipments in uh, manufacturing firms. So you have different layouts in a uh, manufacturing firms. Uh, the process layout uh, in a manufacturing film uh, and the cellular layout. So uh, first I will tell the cellular layout, it is quite easy. Uh, so cellular layout involves, uh, uh, say for example, this is the one part number, this is the, so you have four different part numbers having four different uh, the process. Say for example, the, the, the 111 uh, part number or the, or the raw material, uh, which is coming, first process is going to be comes under a lathe, then milling, then drilling, then heat treatment. Then you go for a gear, 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 gear cutting. Then uh, when it comes to assembly, all these four individual uh, part number is going to get assembled here. So this is how you go, go for a cellular layout in the case of manufacturing company. Um, whereas in the case of uh, uh, the process layout, uh, same uh, 
whatever it is coming here is also going to come here. Uh, but but you see, uh, but you see here, it is not going to be in in line. Like it is not going to be in line process. You see here. Uh, so for example, the triple two first the process is going to be milling, then it goes to the drilling, then it goes to the different process. It can be uh, the heat treatment, and again, again you see here after the heat treatment is going to the grinding, again it going to the uh, uh, assembly. Same here also, but but here it is. Completely coming under a line structure or a continuous stage, but here, uh, depending upon uh, because uh, the same machine for one machine, you are going to use uh, two different uh, part number. Okay, so when you are using such a such a case, then you go for a process layout, and when you are using the single raw material, then you go for a cellar layout. And again, cellar layout is very much uh, easy and again less complicated. Uh, with respect to the the cycle time, you can increase here. You can increase the productivity also. But uh, it is very important. Even we also need to sometimes we also need to follow the process layout because uh, if we have more requirement, uh, again you need to look for this type of things. And again, you, are, you can also have. Uh, the production line, uh, considering uh, the the line line structure, like you have different stations where the raw material coming in and coming out as your finished goods. You see here, uh, I'm using the resource material and labor. Sometimes our labor, sometimes labor is not used. Whereas uh, you can go for a automation or you can go for a the robotic kind of thing. Uh, it comes under. Uh, you see, this is and uh, sometimes I used material and labor or material or labor. Material is very much important in each and every session, but labor can be used or may not be used for a particular station. And sometimes it can be the use of or even it can be uh, continuously uh, uh, like uh, uh, it can be uh, a single U turn or some double U turn also, depending upon the the. the, the the, the complexity of the product or assembly. Even this is also very easy because the communication can be better here. You see, this is very much important in, in any many manufacturing companies. You need to increase the productivity. Suppose uh, the, my requirement is uh, any quantity should be 60 per hour. The quantity output should be 60 per hour, but I'm going to get only 30 per hour. Uh, then you need to do some uh, the process study. Uh, how I can increase the productivity. So here they use the parallel workstation to increase the productivity. So so here you see when they are going for a parallel workstation, the space is going to be get increased. OK, so sometimes what happens uh, when you're constructing any manufacturing company, a film or a space, sometimes you need to have some buffer uh, uh, because sometimes it is very difficult for uh, for the for the engineers or the managers to study. Uh, the, the bottlenecks, OK, so they will understand the bottlenecks only during the productivity uh, and then during the, the, the working condition. OK, before working, it is very difficult for them to to plan this space. OK, so that's why it is very important. Uh, you need to have some buffer. Uh, otherwise, you need to go for extension of the, the manufacturing plant also. Uh, so it is again uh, very difficult again because uh, initially you may not involve with this type of cycle time because uh, you do not know uh, where the process or where the, the bottleneck is going to happen. But uh, nowadays the software are there and again uh, it is helping. It will help us to uh, to understand the cycle time also. Uh, but still, uh, even if you are using software, but the bottleneck will vary depending upon uh, the, the situation to situation. OK, uh, this is the manufacturing process layout of, of, a, of a company. See from from receiving it is going to the lead machine, milling machine, then it is going to the drilling machine and going to the assembly. And again, after assembly, it is again going to the the, the warehouse basically where the, the shipping is required to be done. And again, again you see how it is. Some process going to the grinding and again going to the assembly and again going to the shipping again going to the warehouse. Okay, so these are the different material handling equipment in a manufacturing firms. So depending upon the weight of the component, you can use either trolleys 
uh, and again uh, you can use this uh, forklifts uh, the hydraulically one where it will also take you to the, the barrows uh, if the rack size is higher it will help you to lift and keep it there and again so this crane kind of thing is used in the assembly process uh, to lift the materials uh, this is one of the uh, assembly stages uh, in, a, in a car manufacturing company uh, where the robots are being used you can during the assembly process and of uh, the things the robots have been used even for painting the the, the, the vehicle even they are using the robots uh, uh, to paint it and they even uh, for some of the coating activities even even that is going to get dipped even the robots are used to pick and place those things uh, so the robots importance is very much important and again uh, when you are when you are selecting uh, the, the facilities or the manufacturing you need to understand uh, how many robots are going to be used in the particular uh, manufacturing process because uh, even the maruti for example uh, the case study i am going to show you is uh, maruti one um, it is maruti silk desire uh, see initially the company would not have uh, uh, when it was started uh, maybe 1980s during that time uh, uh, 1990s during that time uh, the robots were not being used in the manufacturing assembly but now it is been used okay so this is used to increase the productivity because the product bottleneck i told you you, you may not understand the bottleneck while uh, while planning in the company or while planning the manufacturing process at the initial stage so if i start my company now uh, i will understand the bottleneck only after uh, uh, after I, I start manufacturing it okay sometimes it's very difficult to predict okay and again accordingly you need to select the space also so we will see the warehouses how it is uh, been used in the manufacturing firm uh, see the warehouses uh, can be uh, in, in the form of zones different zones uh, where the raw material can be stored and the finished good material can be stored and uh, it can be zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 kind of thing and uh, you are going to ship it uh, from from here you are going to take it and you are going to ship it uh, to the to the customer using the the, the tractor uh, driller or whatever it is and uh, you see here a trailer a tractor trailer here so and this is the warehouse layout going to the customer end even you can have the layout coming from the supplier you can have uh, the one uh, different layout but this is the layout uh, for which uh, you are going to sell or going to send the, the product to the customer we also have the shipping door and again uh, from the shipping door uh, you you take it to the, the to the vehicle so this is how the warehouse will be there in a, in a car manufacturing company uh, so this is the place where uh, the raw material say for example the, the car will have different parts uh, brakes gears uh, shafts engines transmission uh, the gears differential gears and uh, the tires steering wheel seats all this needs to be stored in a place called a warehouse okay you need to well we're going for a facility planning this warehouse is very important and again even the finished good which is coming out uh, even before it is going to the dealer or the place where it is going to be sold sold out so you need to have the space which needs to be stored in in a, in a company uh, so it is like a parking how you you design when you are when you are designing when you are going for a layout of a, a big uh, mall kind of thing so similar thing you need to do the facilities even in a car company as well so this is the open yard sometimes it can be closed one or it can be a open one okay it can be also be open one um, so when i was in working in mahindra they they have a separate open yard uh, they, and again uh, even uh, even even with respect to the, the different climate condition still it will not be uh, in the, the closed one it is like a open yard so the Mahindra plant in Nasik and then uh, Kandivali in Mumbai where the tractor is being manufactured uh, even there also um, they used to keep it in some some of the vehicle they used to keep it in the open yard as well uh, 
sometimes what what, what is the advantage if they are keeping it in the open yard is that it is easy for the for the people to go for some test drive also because they sometimes it is very necessary to 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 move the vehicle uh, uh, once in a week uh, as to to ensure that the the uh, the vehicle is in the working condition before it is going to the customer end so this is the engine uh, uh, finished the automotive engine, automobile engine how it is been stored in a stored in a rack for which you are using the material handling equipments so this is the perkin engines this is the mahindra heavy engines private limited uh, means uh, mahindra heavy engines uh, engines how it is been stored in a stored in a warehouse or a, uh, basically a store kind of thing so now we will see some of the production and testing how it is happening in a manufacturing firm so so when you are going for a production and the testing uh, uh, you see here uh, the space required for a aircraft is going to be higher even though the volume is going to be lesser and again the length the length of the aircraft is going to be higher accordingly you need to select the facilities for manufacturing this and when you are going for the aircraft design and manufacturing you need to understand uh, the material mro material requirement uh, objectives and again what is the what is the facilities and process planning process design you are going to do so with respect to mro you, you need to understand the engineering aspects you need to understand the the, the process and the planning and production control aspects so what are the tools it is required jigs what are the tools what are the things required uh, and again what are the test requirement for a particular product for a particular uh, uh, vehicle basically so so and, and again when you go, this is very much important so our topic is facility and process design so here we are manufacturing this what is the facility design so and again uh, facility is not only with respect to the the building but again the machines uh the tools machineries process so, so all this comes under facility design and industrial process uh, design basically and again the quality again if you have a lot of quality tools also you also need to have the quality department to test the quality of the product and again you need to have the testing department uh, to test uh, the, the say for example uh, you being a mechanical engineer you might be knowing the hardness test kind of thing where you need to do the hardness of the particular uh, product so so you have the, the testing lab also uh, and you need to purchase uh, different uh, equipments and again uh, when it comes to the manufacturing you need to have all the all the all the, all the equipments and then uh, the manpower resource and again this, since it's a aircraft you need to have the r&d facilities technological services for these things so when you're going for this aircraft manufacturing facilities uh, you need to consider all these parameters and uh, it's not only the building alone but again all the test facilities and the process facilities is very much important and uh, the site lo that is site location i told you at the initial stage then then you go for a uh, building then you go for a process then finally you also need to test it okay uh, you need to test that one that is also very much important so this is the engine assembly plant uh, so here the plant it is the engine basically is been carried out in, a, in, a, in a, it is automatic automated line but uh, still some of, some of the manpower have been involved and this is the, the again um, the engine automotive uh, uh, assembly plant you see uh, each and uh, each and every uh, industry irrespective of uh, the, the sector it can be healthcare or it can be electronics or it can be a the automobile or a mechanical or or uh, even the civil so irrespective of that any industry you need to have a test lab okay even the aircraft is also having a test lab so so you need to test uh, uh, the the product for which you need to have the equipments machineries uh, uh, if we need to plan what machines is required for a particular uh, industry so here in the test lab uh, here some of the photos indicated indicating the healthcare industry test lab i will show you one video with respect to the biocon industry in india uh, please, please, please please show the, show video. the video yes sir uh, i will i'll join in another 5 minutes uh, this is the uh, test actually, lab actually, yes sir 
the time is uh, only 15 minutes so okay, you can so start sure. the video sure. session now yes sir sure sir. Sure, sir so this is the test lab used in the electronic industry so when i say the process improvement this is one case study i will just show uh, when i show the process improvement in manufacturing film uh, this is how they are planning uh, uh, the, this is for a impeller process flow flow uh, so it is having different machines uh so here so at the existing one uh, they have a six man power and the modified one they have only one man power and again uh, here they are increasing uh, the man, they are reducing the man power and increasing the productivity by doing the modified process uh, by involving the different layout uh, this is the existing layout where the travel distance is going to be 73.5 meter uh, you see this is the layout basically how it looks this is the case study actually and uh, here they used the robotic operation uh, to manufacture the process product called impeller uh, the company name is aqua guard uh, where they are going to reduce the time to 50.7 meter so here they are going to increase the cycle time by reducing the thing and again the layout going to get uh, different here they are using the cellular layout what i have shown and uh, this is another process of uh, a mechanical evaporator system uh, it's also involves different uh, stages uh, accordingly you need to uh, select the facilities for this and uh, sometimes uh, you may not do it at the initial stage after creating the facility you need to modify so this is the facility after modification this is the uh, system of uh, algae evaporator system uh, which is used in a titan industry so here they are going to reduce the space uh, means space you are going to reduce and again the cost is also going to reduce so this is this is very much effective uh, the cost management is very much important when you're going for a facilities management or a planning and again you see 40 lakhs of capex is reduced with the help of the, the new innovation uh, yeah okay so i'll just to quote as the time is running uh, so this is one of the, the aluminum tube uh, process which is been done in uh, supplier uh, named Hillerich and uh, Brass Bay. Uh, I will show one uh, the agriculture. This is also a live case study. Uh, see, uh, see here the product is going to be different. Uh, you see when, when you're going for this type of agriculture sector, uh, this is the layout of a 100 acres agriculture land so it is divided into four phases phase one phase two phase three and phase four so phase one is basically for cultivating the the, the, the trees basically the take kind of thing and the phase two is basically uh, the herbal plants uh, which is used for uh, the medicinal aspects and the third one third stage is uh, the integrated uh, poultry fish farming uh, each having having 25 acres of agriculture land, and the fourth one is uh, the crop cultivation, like where vegetables, fruits are been manufactured. I mean, it's cultivated. So it's also like uh, cultivation here is a product where it is coming under uh, equal to that of manufacturing aspects. So here um, the same the facilities and again the process is very much important. As I said, the, the site location, what you are going to cultivate, and then. Uh, how how your methods okay main material machines and here even here also you are going to use machines uh, and agriculture products and the, the machineries to cultivate it and uh, so all this very much important even in agriculture sector also uh, so we using this process uh, they have done uh, the, uh, this is one of the case study again uh, so here you can see the profit they can able to achieve uh, in indian rupee of uh, uh, Seven crore seventy five seventy seven lakh fifty thousand uh, uh, INR they can able to save or they can able to get the profit using the better facilities whatever they were done. This is one of the case study uh, where they are also doing the fisheries farming. They are going to irrigation, water conservation. And uh, see, see different uh, things. Okay, even they are also having the. the I think this is the uh, the shed what they are using for some of the the, the poultry also 
and even the poultry along with it is integrated okay here fishes will be there here uh, the, the, the poultry so even the manure for the poultry manure, manure for the fishes is coming from the from the uh, poultry okay and again finally it is uh, all these are being stored in a storehouse or a warehouse how how similar to that what we have in a manufacturing company so again it is sold sold out to the, the customer in a vehicle so some of the videos i will show uh, Uh, I will show some of the letter to Biocon. It is quite interesting. Yeah. Okay. Hope my screen is visible. Uh, uh, so Biocon, this is the Biocon uh, company layout. So you can see uh, different uh, equipment are used to manufacture uh, different uh, medicines for diabetes, uh, cancer, and again kidney, heart, heart kind of thing. So, And again, we have the lab facilities. We have the space. You see the test lab, the quality lab they have. Sometimes the temperature also has to be maintained. So you can understand the equipment that you need to go for processing. So I will show another some two three uh, important. Maybe I will show you the the car manufacturing uh, of a Maruti suit. I will show you so that it will be easy for you to understand again. Okay. So this is uh, the aircraft. Uh, this is the aircraft of uh, a Boeing uh, 737. Uh, so it's a Boeing 737. How, how they build it? What are the accessory? You see, this is the crane they are using. And, uh, the raw material, what the raw material required, bill of material, all these things you can understand. And uh, how they are going to assemble it, how they are going to process or uh, manufacturing. Some of the tests also they do. Uh, you see the big, the big plant, okay. So again, depending upon the size, you need to. And again, the temperature at which it is going to get the get, sometimes the health products, uh, the temperature needs to be different, and the here temperature can be different. So, those things you need to look for it. I also one uh, of a manufacturing uh, of a car of a Marge shift. I'm just checking the link. Okay, so this is again an example of a, of a Swiss aircraft uh, of a Tata company. Uh, like so, Tata. So this is the location. Aerospace Precision Engineering is coming in a special economic zone in a place called uh, Telangana State. So this is the location they have selected to manufacture uh, the aerospace. The company name is Tata Aerospace. Uh, they are going to manufacture this to the shift aircraft in Hyderabad. So this is the location they have selected and then they run the facility. Uh, and accordingly they manufacture this and, and 
and they they assembled it and they tested it and they shipped it to the six company. You also you also have some of the softwares which is which have been used to the uh, used to for the the process planning. Uh, you have uh, the BAM, which is nothing but the building integrator management, uh, where where you can use that things for. Uh, okay, so this is the RGS. You see the, how the target is coming. In. How this is the line conveyor so this is the building. You see, 2500 spot wells per vehicle are required, and again, they are going for a fully automated uh, thing considering the, the worth of 1.45 crore weld. Well, this, this much this much weld are being done per day, 1.45 crore weld are being done per day using the robots. Okay, so considering the requirement, you need to also do the facilities. When I say, when I say, when I say, when I say facilities, it's not only the building, it is completely the, the process is very much important where you are going to use complete uh, machineries, tools, jigs, fixers, and all the precision components, etc. And again, the different the Marji is having different product, and again the different product will come in different line. So you need to select which where the particular product how to go in which line. So th those planning is very much important. Uh, and again, you can use uh, the cellular thing or the, the, the product layout, whatever you assume. And you see different colors of the car, okay, red, brown, blue, according to the paint also needs to be uh, different, okay. So, so you need to select the process, like accordingly you need to have this special zone uh, to, to carry out the paint, paint in, uh, in red color and brown color and blue color. So this, this video is very interesting. I can see it. Uh, And again, uh, you have different variety variants, uh, mid size I means low variant, me, middle variant, and uh, the top variant. Accordingly, the ABS airbag will, will be there. And again, here in this, sometimes the vehicle will have different variants. Accordingly, the, the rear, rear airbag may not be there for some of the vehicle. So accordingly, you need to uh, select the, the manufacturing line also. Uh, so this video is quite interesting. You can see it. Uh, one last video I will show you with respect to the software also, where you can also involve, you can also look uh, uh, some of the software practice. You can practice that also, how 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 the software has been used in a manufacturing company to for the facilities basically. Okay, so this this is the building integrator management facility thing where this has been used by the civil civil engineers basically. But uh, but being a mechanical engineer or the the, the, the company uh, uh, engineer, what what you need to do is that you need to give them the requirement uh, with respect to the space of the machines, and then accordingly they will they will, they will use this software to understand the space. And here, even, even, even some of the company will have the conference room, uh, the meeting room. Even for that, the, what is the space requirement? How many customers are going to come? How many suppliers are going to come? What will be the number of visitors? 
accordingly they will give a layout and again uh, not only for the for the admin purpose but also for the facilities purpose of manufacturing so with respect to the space uh, for the machines and what will be the product output volumes concerning this they use this uh, building integrated management software and then and they given uh, and this is this is a software company uh, building uh, where uh, companies like IBM or the Wipro they use uh, this BAM software for their for their uh, you would have seen some of the big buildings like this uh, where basically software companies or any service related companies uh, for which you need to do the facilities management uh, with the help of uh, the build the BAM uh, building integrated management software. We also have more software uh, which I am not currently, I am not able to currently track it. Uh, I am not sure whether this is the link or not, but that software is also you can even you can learn that software also. Uh, this is related to space, space management. Uh, this is the Excite platform. Uh, even you can use this one to understand understand uh, the layout also uh, see the bam is for the complete uh, the facilities of building and uh, the space and this is for the the, the the layout like which layout is better for your own organization depending upon the things and again uh, so where the machines will come which location the process is going to happen product is going to come out where the warehouse is needed and uh, we are, need to have the pathways for the vehicle also. Uh, so this is, uh, the thing. Uh, see this, this you can also change the, the requirement also like depending on suppose the process is going to change or volume is going to change accordingly you can also convert uh, okay this is the software i was telling you uh, wind chill wind using uh, this you can also you can, you can also snowmobile using this what you can do you can also select uh, the process for your company uh, And again, various product models and variants are necessary to organize and put your process plan into effect. So, so according to that, you can put, you see here, uh, no. uh, see it. Yes, sir. Uh, this is my last one. Uh, I'm going to close it. Now, if in case any, any questions, uh, they can ask. Uh, so, I, I can even be contacted at p.arjunraj.gmail.com and uh, this is my mobile number. So 